it's funny that you think it's funny that you hit me because you really thought that was gonna give you a ticket or you thought Natalie was gonna be like, oh yeah, she's a baddie, she's a baddie. Right. And I think she forgot that we beat her. Well, I didn't get a chance to beat her ass, but everybody that was on stage with me beat her ass after that. And it just wasn't air, but like I got the video and everything. And I'm like, do you want me to post a video? Welcome back to another episode of the Petty Headquarters. I'm your host, Tiana Locke, and this is Jesse Strange. And as you know, we are finally back from our little one week break. <laughs> um, we took a break last week, but now we are back and yeah, new and improved and fresh. What it rejuvenated? Yeah, that's the word. So yeah, how does it feel to be back? Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited to come back with something I feel like y'all would really enjoy. And yeah. mm-hmm. we're going to have a special guest on to make up for our little absence last week. <laughs> How do you feel? Yeah, I feel good. Um, I know when I put out the poll on the story, everybody was like, yes, 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 yes. They wanted to see Nelly Wap. Yeah. So, yes, that is who we have as our special guest today in the building very excited you know so you already know right now you know due to it being a last minute interview this is going to be through zoom it would have been great to run out a studio blah 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 blah. but no <laughs> that wasn't the case so yes what's gonna be popping up is the zoom interview so yes even though y'all may talk your little shit because it's not no it's a great interview it really is there's a lot of tea that she yeah. should in that interview so and we hope you enjoy it. Yeah. Right? We hope you enjoy it. Yeah. We hope you guys enjoy it. And yeah, enjoy Nelly Wap and the Petty Headquarters. So today we have a very special guest with us. Yes, and we got Nelly Wap in the building. Hey. Bop, 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 bop. Hey. <laughs> so for those of you who don't know who Nelly Wap is, she was uh in she featured in the Baddies Caribbean Audi- yep. mm-hmm. auditions. Yep. She was a contestant mm-hmm. for participating in the auditions <laughs> and had to go through a lot of crazy trials and tribulations. <laughs> but you know, she's also a rapper. She's been rapping for seven years. Okay. <laughs> And she is a mother from what I know. So we're going to get into all of that. So why don't you just tell us about yourself? Shay, I'm 27. Um, I'm from the west side of Detroit. Uh, Shay, I'm a mommy to be. So the baby not here yet. She's still cooking. Um, uh, Shay, what else? Um, I'm cool as hell. Like... Uh, before I lost my sight, I used to do hair, makeup, and nails. Um, now I'm starting my small business, like selling clothes and stuff like that. And I'm gonna be moving to Atlanta pretty soon. So yeah, nice, nice. <laughs> so you did mention that um you lost your sight like recently, right? Like two years ago. Hell yeah, September the ninth of two thousand twenty one. Wow, that's crazy. So how did you lose your sight? If you don't mind telling the story. So it was like Labor Day and um, I used to be a dancer and I used to live in Charlotte and me and my homegirl, Millie, like we had went out of town. Like our first stop was Florence, South Carolina, and then we went to Atlanta and um, it was like COVID season around that time, but like the club was like still open or whatever. So the bag was like huge and I'm like, bitch, we gotta go. So um we was actually supposed to go to like Tampa after Atlanta, but I noticed when after we left Atlanta, I was like just sick as hell. And I always been like real asymptomatic to a lot of sicknesses. So I just thought it was just like a cold or something. Like I'm just like, I'm just gonna shake it off. I'll be straight. But the whole time it was strap, it was COVID, and I had a UTI. And like I said, I was asymptomatic and I didn't have health insurance. So I'm like, bitch, I'm not going to the hospital. I'm going to just chill. It's going to go away. Everything is going to be cool. And like two weeks later, just like on the ninth, well, the ninth is the day I went to the hospital. So I guess like the day before, um, 
I was I just was like in so much pain. My limbs was like all fucked up. Like my um ankle, it was like a size of a softball. And I just could not walk. And um I was like, I'm just going to go to sleep. So I ended up falling asleep and I just felt myself gasping for air like three times. I just like woke up like, <laughs> like, and I was just like, I was basically dying in my sleep. And the next day I finally made it to the hospital because I woke up and I couldn't see shit. Like, I just couldn't see shit. Like everything was gray. And I went to the hospital. They thought I had pink eye. And I'm like, bro, I can't walk. Like, y'all not saying shit about my ankle. Like, I cannot that fucking is, walk. That's crazy. And so um, I was in the hospital for, like, four weeks. And I had to go through, like, physical therapy because I was, like, paralyzed for, like, two weeks. I was in a COVID unit for, like, I want to say, like, maybe a week and a half. And the infection ended up getting to my heart because, like, when you don't treat strap, I guess it, like, turns into an infection. It gets into your bloodstream sometimes. So that's what had happened to me. Like, I was just septic with it at that point. And um, I had a pick line in my arm for, like, two months. I had to go through, like, heart procedures. And it was a lot. Like, eye surgeries. It was, like, it was a lot. So, like, I'm really happy that I, I pushed through and I... I made it like you know out alive and if that wasn't my first time being on TV I would have like expressed all of that because I feel like Spice kind of went through the same thing like a random like yeah traumatic life-threatening experience and I didn't even get a, a chance to like really like connect with her on that level because the bitch hit me right. <laughs> right. and, and that yeah. whole situation got everybody outraged yo everybody's reaction i took some screenshots but everybody's reaction was shocked yeah i think she in jail <laughs> yeah i had saw that you had posted on her on your story in regards to her being in jail like how how did that come about I don't know because I know when you press charges on somebody, you got to have their information. So all I knew about the girl, because they didn't, and I might be wrong, but in the first episode, because I'm like, how did this bitch even get through the third round? Mm -hmm. And so I finally like watched it, the first episode because I just wanted to see me like on the first episode, but I watched it and like I seen her fight another girl. And you know how like they put everybody names on it and shit? Well, not everybody, but I don't even think her name was like on like either on the first episode or the third episode. But um, I was on Facebook one day because it's like a Zeus Network like T page or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I just kept getting these tags and these tags because the clip was going viral. And I didn't even know because I'm like a more of an Instagram person. I'm like, I mean, I'm getting like 10 followers a day, but then I don't really get me viral. Like, right. <laughs> but um. I didn't know who the girl was at all. And like, I seen somebody tag her and they put like the googly eyes. And I was like, oh, that must be her. So I clicked on her page. I um, added her as a friend. And I sent her a message like woman to woman. And I was like, you know, it's funny that you think it's funny that you hit me because you really thought that was going to give you a ticket or you thought Natalie was going to be like, oh yeah, she's a baddie. She's a baddie. Right. But it it didn't work out like that. And I think she forgot that we beat her. Well, I didn't get a chance to beat her ass. But everybody that was on stage with me beat her ass after that. And it, it just wasn't aired. But, like, I got the video and everything. And I'm like, do you want me to post a video of you getting dragged up out of there? Like, and they kind of shook her up. So we was, like, on live arguing and shit. And then, like, yeah. <laughs> wow. So, so like, a week dope. ago, I went That's on her crazy. Facebook page. And it was, like... Whoever her nigga was, was like, I miss you with a broken heart. And then it was like, it's a minor setback for a major comeback. I'm like, okay, she can't be dead because you <laughs> wouldn't say it's a comeback. So I'm like, she must be in jail or something. I don't oh, know. Wow. So she got jumped and she in jail. That's crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. Wow. Was... I had her wig. It's like a whole bit. I haven't made like a video of it yet. But like, I got her wig and I'm just like, yeah, bitch, like, yeah, bitch, like, get the here. like, she was just like, she really thought that, you know, that was going to give her some clout. And I'm just right. like, yeah, that was a total opposite. Now, did you know that when that, that, that moment happened, did you have an idea like, oh shit, this is going to go viral? I got, I've always had a hard time believing in myself and it kind of like fucked me up because I seen that like, uh, 
Lemon Pepper, Lemuel Plummer, <laughs> he had his birthday party in Putacana and it was filming for the show. And I'm like, bro, like I should have got my passport and like really believed that I was going to go viral. Like I was going to stand out. Like, because a lot of times, like I don't even bring my cane a lot of places because I just feel like so many people be looking at me. And when you see somebody with a white cane, you just go on automatically assume that they're completely blind. Yeah, and I'm not, but you know, I'm pretty high on the blind spectrum. But I do need my cane because I only got tunnel vision, so I can only see like mm -hmm. straight ahead. And you know, you don't walk with your head down. But like, yeah, I, 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 I kind of knew, but I didn't like. I was just like, man, I didn't know what to expect because I didn't watch so many auditions, and they'd be like, next, next, next. <laughs> but the love that I got from everybody on the cast, I'm like. I felt like I was gonna get picked, and that's why I said I should have believed in myself because I should I could have went to Putacana mm -hmm. uh, for Lemon Pepper birthday, and I would have at least been on one episode. Like, yeah. So I guess like you know when you express your love for like the show and wanting to be on the show, I know you had said this recently in an interview when someone asked you, you know, why join Baddies? You had said, well, why, why not? Like, why would I let that stop me? Like. Um, can you just elaborate on that? Because I know a lot of people, even though they're like, yeah, you know, that's a great courage to have. Some people probably feel like you still shouldn't have even auditioned for baddies. I mean, I always wanted to be on TV. I always wanted like my own little TV show. Like, I just feel like my life is interesting. It's lit. And yeah. I just feel like ever since I lost my sight, I feel like I'm more marketable like because I'm legally blind and it's like damn she still goes to the club she still do her makeup she feel like like damn like because yeah. you know like Fetty Wap I don't feel like it is no shade I don't feel like he would have like been that hopping if he didn't you know so I'm like okay right. Fetty Wap right. Nelly Wap like all right cool <laughs> Yeah, I figured that's where you got your name your name from because I was like, that makes so much sense because Fetty Wap, so that makes so much sense. And it's cool that you're able to see like the marketing aspect of it, of things because I do feel like that definitely makes you more unique and it definitely made you stand out in the auditions because everyone was looking at you like, what? What? Yeah, yeah balls. You me exactly. <laughs> but yeah. here's my question. So I know you want to be like, you said you, you would have liked to be in, in baddies, but my question to you is even with everything that comes with being in baddies do you think that that would be your best in your best interest like just being you know susceptible and vulnerable to being hit more sucker punch kind of like what the auditions was do you think that even knowing all that you th still think it's worth it so after I got back I ended up going to the eye doctor and this whole time, I thought, like, my right eye was, like, super fragile because I got, like, a square buckle in my eye. I got an oil bubble in my eye. And it's just not good quality of vision. So I'm just thinking, like, my eye is as fragile as a baby holding an egg. And my eye doctor was like, no, you know, your eye is just as normal as mine. But, you know, I don't want to get hit in the eye. Yeah. So I don't, like... I used to be a dancer before I lost my sight. So I'm like, okay, Jocelyn coming out with season five. She give everybody and their mama opportunities. Like she just had a transgender on the show. So I'm just like, I feel like Jocelyn would see me and she would like respect that I'm not in the house just put up because before I lost my sight, I didn't really know no blind people. I knew like one blind person that was like in elementary school. And she was, you know, it was elementary school, so I, she was just, like, a kid. But um, once I, I, I ended up moving to Colorado because it was a blind school out here, and I'm just like, damn, y'all weird as hell. So I'm really not even, like, the average blind yo, girl. Yo. Oh, weak. She said y'all weird as hell. They weird as fuck. Like, they don't know how to cook. They don't know how to clean. They don't, they be in the house. They ain't got shit going for themselves for real. So I'm just like, I'm glad that I don't, I'm not, I don't fit the, that, Category. I don't know, that criteria. Like, I'm yeah. a part of the blind community by default, but like, I don't be... Yeah. Well, I think that's a beautiful thing, right? That you're you're able to mentally push past that because at the end of the day, it is a disability. And, you know, it's nice that you get to see other people. I'm sure that you not being born blind has a big advantage to that, that that's the reason why you don't fit in those categories, you know? I see, yeah. Right, right. So like, you know, I can see that. So, but my question, just to go back to the question, right? Uh, so you think it would be worth it 
even if you're you're put in a vulnerable position because despite your disability you think you're equal to everyone else I do and I don't talk shit that's why I was like why the fuck she hit me because it wasn't like I was like fuck y'all da, 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 da. so I would have put myself in you know like because me and Dia like I met her in line she on the show and like that would have I felt like we would have like clicked up and I'm, I see Dia personality and she don't she not really with that rah rah ratchet shit and I just feel like you know how like Taseki was on the previous season like she ain't jump where Krishan said jump like I ain't gonna jump when a bitch say jump like if you got a problem with me let it be organic like right, like right. even Slim tried to fight me at the auditions but that was an organic beef and I'm just <laughs> Wait, like what kind of beef you got right. with Slim is that the one you came in talking about because I know in the first round you said some girl was trying to say what's up to you or whatever was that Slim <laughs> why what <laughs> what is wrong with slim like it's so funny because i actually fucked with slim on south i'm like damn this little skinny bitch like shit, shit. <laughs> but um what had happened was when i was chopping it up with dia in the line um i felt like i was gonna get pulled out because you know i'm disabled blah 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 and that's what had happened. They had pulled me out and um, they pulled me inside. And at first, like, um, they thought I had to use the bathroom, but I'm like, I ain't got to use the bathroom, but thanks for taking me out the heat. And Slim was in the area where you go use the bathroom. And she was like arguing with the security guard about the vape. I didn't know that that was Slim because for one, she had gained a little weight. And Two, her hair was out and curly. <laughs> and three, she had on like this stripper outfit. So I'm like, oh, this must be like the bitch that missed day shift at the office and just ain't got shit to do. Oh my God. You know, I'm like, so I'm talking to the security because he finna walk me like to the place I'm supposed to be on the inside. Mm -hmm. Um, And I'm like, you know, I ain't say it like in a whole loud ass way, but I'm just like, hey, bro, let's fly. Like, she got bad energy. I'm not trying to be around that shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's go. And, oh, I got bad energy. I got bad energy. And I'm like walking down the ramp and I'm just ignoring her. And I I hear her voice not getting farther away. I hear it getting closer. So, like, by the time, like, I made it out the ramp, I turned around and I'm like, bitch, what's good? Like, what the fuck you on? And I looked at security <laughs> after I put all my shit down because she was, like, right there next to me. And I put my shit down and I looked at this. So, we finna do this? He's like, we're not. We're not finna do this. I'm like, shit, I can't tell. Like, shit, what's up? <laughs> That's so, you crazy. know what I'm saying? Like, I was finna square up with her and get active. But she just walked away and I was like, what? <sighs> Well, that's what but I seen her again on the inside when, like, I was getting my like number and shit, and she was staring at me, and I was like, "Boo, bitch!" And she was like, "Oh, you can see me," and I was like, "Yes, bitch, I can see you. You looking dead at me, like with what? your arms folded and everything, like the fuck." And I didn't even know that was slim until we was finna go see Natalie and Shorty that I had met, cause I was with me and the girl in the wheelchair for like eight hours. Like we was in that bitch for like hours, just chopping it up and shit. And um, I didn't even know that was Slim. Like one of the producers had came up to me and it was like, "What's your what's your beef with Slim?" And I'm like, "Who the fuck is Slim?" Wow. It, I, it, it did not click in my head who they was talking about. And it was like, "Okay, well, we want to get on camera, a little conversation." It does. So they was already like building the storyline. Oh of me. wow, that's crazy. And so that's I'm like, damn, like I might really be. Oh, that's funny. That is. So I guess funny. that goes back to what I was saying, right? So you don't even have to be problematic to be put in a dangerous situation because at the end of the day, baddies is baddies, whether you're antagonizing or instigating. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If somebody's ready to swing on you, they're going to swing on you. Granted, that looks bad on them, but like. They don't care on yeah, that show. They, they really, really don't. don't care on that show, period. Yeah, I think it's a, a huge difference between Bad Girls Club and baddies because like Natalie has created this brand of be all these bitches ass and yeah. it's just like it's kind of annoying because like i seen like the little teaser and like i love jayla to death but i just feel like she's gonna be super annoying this episode uh, this yeah, season me too yeah and it's just like why as grown as women is your first thing to fight like y'all supposed to have on these thousand dollar wigs these long ass excel nails y'all face supposed to be beat and y'all just want to fight i don't get it yeah i don't get it
but that's you know that's the energy that comes with baddies and that's that's what's selling so i feel yeah. like natalie knows that formula and she just don't care she's just like slap that bitch for a ticket and that's it because if you can't defend yourself then I don't know. I mean, and that's not always the case because Biggie can't fight, but she's also a great baddie. She's loved by everybody. You know what I mean? So it's like, I feel like it's more of a confidence thing too. Mm -hmm. um, you don't always got to be a fighter to be on there, which which is true. So I guess my question to you is like, I know you kind of skimmed this a little bit, but how would you stand out if you were chosen to be on baddies? Man, I would be lit as fuck every day. Like I smoke hella weed and I didn't get pregnant until like after I had came back. But um, so I wouldn't have been pregnant and like I, I just would have been like I just would have been that relief where it's just like, okay, you got beef for the bitch, you can come and tell me. Wait, about wait, 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 wait. So question. I'm sorry to cut you off. So right now you're pregnant. Yeah, she right Hell now, yeah. Pregnant. I'm like nine. So you pregnant. wanted to be on the show while pregnant? No, before. No, I got oh, pregnant. Okay. After she Thank you out. for Claire. Thank you for clearing that up. Cause I was like, wait, wait, what? <laughs> um Okay, got it. I'm sorry. Continue. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I would have been, you know, I I kind of would have been like a sky. Like, she ain't fight, but, like, everybody still loved her, and she was still, like, you know, like, cool. Like, and, like I said, I'm starting my own clothing brand, so it's, like, you know, all my pieces is, like, super cute, and I just feel like I would have just looked cute as hell every day. I would have been shaking ass and batty, batty shots the clock, and I feel like I would have stood out because they probably wouldn't be expecting the blind girl to be that lit, because I yeah, really yeah. am that lit, for real, like, yeah. I agree. I just would have been lit. It would have been interesting to see you, uh, I guess, be in there and be blind. And But I, I was curious. There was a girl who was walking you throughout, uh, I think, round three or whatever. I think uh, some blonde girl. Did, would, did, were you guys friends? Did Were you a, she assigned to help you out? Because I noticed that she helped you walk into the stage. And she helped you also walk up when Spice called you up. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, hell yeah. Uh, shit, that's my baby YTS, but I met her outside. Like, cause they ended, they took my cane because they said I was going to use it as a weapon. Oh, and, that's what it was. Wow. Yeah, and I can't, oh, I can't see in the dark. So like when we was in a holding area, we had to like walk. And I'm like, how y'all going to take my cane? And y'all ain't got security walking with me. Y'all ain't got nobody walking with me. Yeah. And like when she see me, like her exact words was like, she was like, oh my fucking gosh. And then I was like, and then she was like, you know what? I'm a helper. And she just <laughs> like, she helped me like all the way from like the first round all the way to the third. And like, yeah, she is. Yeah, like we still locked in to this day, but I didn't know her from a can of paint. She just, she just seen me. And then like, you know, they, I didn't have my cane. So now I'm yeah. blending in with the other wolves, right. but it's like, all right. They finally gave me my cane back and I'm like, all right. Woo! And then she seen that I was blind and she was like, you know, she was just, she's real nigga. Like she was just good helping. People. Yeah. Good people. That's yeah. good to know that there's some good people out there. <laughs> nice. Yeah. nice. That's nice. So, yeah. so I guess my question, overall question, like how was your whole experience just attending the auditions? Like how long did you have to wait? Was that your only fight? Did someone else, I know you said, talked about slim, but how was just your overall baddies Caribbean auditions experience? That shit was lit. That shit was lit. I got a lot of camera time. I talked to Janisha. Uh -huh. And, um, like, you feel me? I was just trying not to be, like, starstruck. But, like, Amber, she was, like, she was right there next to me a couple of times and shit. And I couldn't really be on my phone because we ain't had no chargers and I ain't want my shit to die. So I was just like, damn. Like, and I was like, Bobby was right there. And I was like, I know. <laughs> like, I, like it was just like so many celebrities and I was like damn this shit is cool but I was just trying to keep it real play it like you know don't be and I was really I was getting so much vibes from YTS and I'm like damn this bitch not acting thirsty let me not act thirsty like you know but I ain't you know I ain't never really met no celebrities I met celebrity rappers like Molly Brazy and shit we got a song together but like I ain't like, you know, like, I ain't really, like, met celebrities, celebrities before, like, so it was cool, like, I, I enjoyed myself, like, uh, when I first got out there, like, I was outside for, like, 30 minutes, and then I was inside, uh, with Mia for, like, 
five hours and then all the other girls had came because like it had started at 12 i didn't pull up until like one the bitches ain't come inside till eight and we was there till like three o'clock in the morning so that's crazy wow it seemed late. We could tell by the yeah. B-roll. I was yeah. like, nah, there's day and night B-roll. That shit yeah. is yeah, long. Right. So we was there for a long time. And I had a flight back home at like 6 a.m. Wow. And, um, yeah. That's um, crazy. Hell yeah. But it was cool, though. Like, I got a lot of camera time. I thought, like, my interview was going to be on there. But, like, as I watched, you know, like, the episodes back, I'm just like, damn, like, you know, my whole little part is on there like they didn't cut shit out like they cut a little bit out but like i got a lot of exposure from that shit and my name was on there so definitely Mm -hmm. did i Mm -hmm. think it's a great way to i guess uh put out to market yourself did you win the five thousand dollars or no you hell yeah i got the Uh, golden ticket hell uh, yeah i got the golden ticket because i when the girl hit me and I fell, I yeah. got about like, who the fuck hit me? Yeah. <laughs> and then, like that's when I started taking my shoes off and shit. And I was like, shit, like, but I guess they had they had took Shorty up out of there like already, like immediately. fast. Yeah. And, yes, immediately. And so um, like I was finna like, you know what I'm saying? But the security guard was like, You got your golden ticket, you good, you good, you good. And I was like, Oh shit, thank you. Like, that's you know, cool. like mm-hmm. and yeah, you did say you received the money, right? You received it. Yeah, hell yeah. They called me um after the third episode uh had premiered. They called me that Monday and was like, We sending your check in the mail. And I was like, All right, thank you. So yeah, I got it. That's dope. Um, I saved their number. I left Lemon Pepper a motherfucking message. Like, I think you should double this shit because I got attacked. Yo, um, no, for um, real. real. <laughs> for real. Um, hey, you know what I'm saying? You don't receive if you don't ask. But dang, yeah, that's, that's true. true. I like that, that attitude. That is true. That is true. So you didn't get into any more like fights other than the, the little argument with Slim and then that dumb bitch that just snuck you. Yeah, no, that was it. And then like after everybody like fought her and shit and I, I was running up and then security just like, zoop, like and I was like, yeah they was like nah well at least you got some compensation for it because a lot of girls that go there obviously didn't win the golden ticket and so there's like a lot of criticism online like you know zeus exploits uh these women uh who have a dream on being on the show and they don't come out benefiting from it at all other than just some bruises scratches and you know just putting their life in you know health in danger uh what do you think about that that criticism i think that everybody know what they signed up for and Mm -hmm. is we on like what this is the fifth season and i just like they you know what you signed up for and like dia um you know she didn't know natalie or anybody but she's also caribbean and you know, she she got picked from the audition. So if, if you if you're what they are looking for, they they might fuck with you. But I just feel like and like I said, like this is why Bad Girls Club and Baddies will never be the same because Bad Girls Club gave chances to nobodies. Yeah, they gave sure. chances to people that was not already influencers and got a name for themselves and shit like that. But like I feel like Natalie feel like if we don't have these influencers, if we don't have these famous people, nobody's going to watch. But you got to think about it. Now that's TV. You got a whole bunch of nobodies. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people watch now that's TV. So it's like, that's not your, what they're, what they're going to realize is that these auditions, and that's probably why they was giving out the $5,000 because nobody is going to come. Like, I bet if they do another season, like Baddies North, because I don't know how you get to the Caribbean and you didn't go North, but nobody's going to co- go to those auditions because you're not picking people from the auditions for real. Right, right, right. 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 Like the waitress really threw me off. I was like, damn, you've been a smack of that, That's yeah. crazy. Mm-hmm. The waitress is crazy. <laughs> so, so I guess like, you know, my other question to you is, I know you did say that you plan on auditioning for other zoo shows. Is that correct? Uh-huh. It's like Jocelyn, right? You're gonna do Jocelyn, Jocelyn, and um, whenever that nigga Blueface got out of jail, I'm gonna be looking. I definitely forward to the rap queens, like, and I mean, like, when I watch Jocelyn's cabaret, I don't feel like they just be on there fighting. 
Like, you know, they yeah. fight. But they it's dance. more of a... Yeah, mm-hmm. like, I'm more of like... Yeah, it's just... It's not like every episode is a fight. Or right. it's like a pointless fight. It's just kind of like... You don't, I don't think, know. You don't think they're abusive, though? Like, I don't know if I personally... They can't be. Right? Like, that, that, that doesn't, like make you not want to like especially blue face i was like jocelyn i can see but then blue face i'm like oh and i mean that's just me how i see him so <laughs> if blue face condones violence on a rap show i i just feel like his morals is just not on music like i, I feel like I mean, he did have that life. show, Blue Girls Club. Did you see that show? That's the show Krishan was I've never on. seen that show. Yeah, he had all these girls in his house, just like Bad Girls Club. He did not care, and it's on his OnlyFans. It used to yeah. be free, but ever since Krishan went to Baddie South and she became so big, they put that shit on OnlyFans. Yeah. So I he he, he don't care. He don't care. He going to do the same thing Lemmy is doing. He going to do the same thing they all doing for sure. Yeah, because they say birds of a fe- feather flock together. They're all kind of that same dynamic of bosses, right? Natalie is super power hungry, you know, egotistical. So is Blueface. So is Jocelyn. They all like to be held up on this pedestal. And if you don't cater to that, then you're kind of looked at as the underdog or someone they can pick on. Yeah. So I just, I just, it's interesting. I mean, I can see you on Jocelyn's for sure. Blue face. I know you want to be a rapper, but I'm just scared for you, girl. I'm scared for you. <laughs> Yo. And the thing is too, the cash prize is a million dollars as well. So it's set in the stakes very <laughs> high. It's set in the stakes very high that, you know, there's going to be a lot of people that's willing to do whatever for a million dollars. True yeah type shit but it's like i don't think they gonna give you a million dollars they just gonna put a million dollars behind you like when you like really get into like that business behind music a million dollars in like the actual industry can be blown in four months and as rappers you probably only you probably don't even get none of that million dollars like you you just got a million dollars behind you so like right. your videos that's why your videos is top tier that's why you're working with the best in the industry that's why you're recording with the best in the industry because you got a million dollars behind you but you're not getting a million dollars like yeah. that's true that yeah. is true very do true. you think you can handle being managed by Blueface? i think he gonna try to fuck <laughs> and i don't i don't like light like skin niggas so I think I would have to like shut that down immediately and be like, yo, like my nigga is like black as shit and you not my type at all. Yo. Like, you're not my type at all. Um, we that's, that's crazy. That's funny. That is crazy. I've heard that. I yeah. am weak. You know, someone's told me that before. You know that, right? I'm too light skinned for them. <laughs> so they don't fuck with me. That's mad funny. It'd be like that though, you know? <laughs> People have their preference. They like the salt chocolate. They like the caramel. They like the white that's chocolate. Weird. So it'd be like that. So I mean, mm-hmm. that's crazy. Yeah, I don't know. I I because look at the way he handles with, with Jade and Alexis and you know, even with Krishan, he was taking all their money. So But it seems like you have like a you know, a pretty level headed you know, mind and, you know, you have a pretty good head on your shoulders. So, I mean, I don't know, maybe, maybe you can handle that, that, that toxic environment. Yeah. Especially with like working in the club, the strip clubs too. So especially oh de- dealing with money and all that <laughs> stuff in the strip clubs too. So I'm pretty sure you would be well equipped. <laughs> I could, yeah. Oh my Hell God. Yeah. How was your experience <laughs> dancing in the strip clubs? man I made so much money it was crazy and when I first started stripping like it was in Detroit when I had moved back to Detroit and like at first I was like a party promoter I was like always at the club always shaking my ass always throwing parties and then I kind of got into like a financial pickle and I'm like damn bro I'm really like broke as hell right now and I went to like a couple of pole classes and did a one night only for my birthday and like it just kind of like went from there, but I was skeptical because I'm like, who the fuck gonna come to the club, a strip club on a Monday? But you would be fucking surprised. You'd be surprised. Wow. Yeah, you'd you be surprised. Be surprised how much money you can make on a Monday, a Tuesday, a Thursday, <laughs> a Saturday, and a Sunday morning. It's crazy. Like I used to make like my goal when I first started was like I I would be like, bro, I'm not leaving without three hundred dollars. Like 
profit. And then like it just kept growing and growing and growing. And sometimes I would leave the club with like twelve hundred, and I'm like, damn. Wow. And I still get up in the morning and go to work. That's crazy. That's yeah. what's up. That's like I remember um I started dancing when I first started dancing in Atlanta and I like ran in a, it ran into like young thug and shit and I was just oh like damn like this shit is so lit. <laughs> <laughs> it was lit and then like I got this video on my Instagram I pinned it to my account uh like to my profile and when uh fly tatted Scott came to Detroit bitches was acting like they didn't want to dance with her and shit so like it's a whole video of me like just twerking on Scott and I'm just like bro Life is complete. I'm dead. I was so lit. Like I was, I, I was just lit, and I was just traveling. Like I would go from like Detroit to Tampa to Atlanta to South Carolina and to Charlotte. Like I was just in my bag. Like I was just in my bag. That's what's up. I would love to see you on Jocelyn. I would love to. Hopefully that you know we could see some clips of that. That'd be really cool mm-hmm. of people who audition. Hopefully you get on there and we get to see you. Uh, that'd be really cool. I think yeah. it, it's cool. Yeah, I, I agree. It would be nice, like, you know, for you to audition for Jocelyn's Cabaret and get picked, that would be very cool because I feel like you would skyrocket, especially since you were already in the strip club before and you yeah. know how to dance, so that's prior experience. And then you being blind is very marketable, like you said. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know. I don't know. Cool. Blind must get mm-hmm. here or something. I don't know what they, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what they would call yeah. you. <laughs> I don't know what yeah, they would I, tell you. I heard um just like you know how like y'all do uh, y'all recaps and stuff. I've heard um what that one dude say, what Isaiah said, he called me oh uh, he called me um Steve at Wonder. Um, oh my gosh. Anna called me Helen Keller. So like Helen Ke- <laughs> Yo, they <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna hold you. That's bad, funny though. But you see how it is. It's like you can build your own brand off of that. Like even yeah. with Krishan, aside from like her crazy personality, you know, the missing tooth bandit is like her name too. Mm-hmm. So yeah, yeah. So so it's just one of those things. So I I really would love to see you go on Zeus and like you know skyrocket. And it seems like this is something that you really want to do, mm-hmm. regardless of all of the other obstacles or just like you know, the trashy reviews that people get all the time. You're not going to let anything stop you. So that is remarkable and admirable. So yeah, definitely. Yeah, And like her doom cha cha dance was so easy. I'm like, bro, how are y'all not getting that shit? It was hella easy. It was. It was so easy. Like it was so easy. (laughs) So I'm like, they got basic ass routines. And then after that, you just, you know, freestyle. Yeah, they don't be doing pole work like that, you know, which would be cool to see them incorporate but i feel like when you're showing yourself that's when the girls decide to do pole work the ones that can do pole work but most of the time they don't but so yeah most of the time the dances are going to be pretty easy but it would be yeah. nice to see you on there yeah. i would i would be oh, hyped yeah. for that i would be hyped for that uh i have a question but besides zeus do you have your eyes on any other network that you're looking into or like any other avenues you're trying to get into um i mean with me being pregnant, like, I feel like I'm just kind of, like, on my sexy red shit. And, like, this is my first baby. So, it's, like, I feel like I'm not going to say a lot of people kind of just been waiting on me to have a baby. But, like, I just feel like that's also going to be, like, marketable. Like, oh, damn, she, like, blind and pregnant? Like, oh, what? God, yeah, so, like, definitely. I don't know. I, I thought about Tronics because they given a lot of um, opportunities to, like, Zeus stars that's not on Zeus Network anymore. Mm-hmm. But I'm just waiting on Ray J to see my comments. <laughs> I'm dead. Not Ray J. <laughs> that's that's so funny. funny. Tronics is a good place. Yeah, I can see that. Mm-hmm, it's mm-hmm. definitely on your avenue. It seems like they are coming up right now um they've been up but it seems like they are the content that they're about to come out with is about to like elevate is that's what it's giving yeah but it it was so nice like you know speaking with you about your experience and everything like that i'm so happy that you wanted to come on take this chance to share your side of the story tell your inside tea you know we really appreciate that do you have any like final words for like people watching this right now um first off shout out to the petty headquarters hey. <laughs> oh shit follow me on instagram underscore nelly wop 
and shit, download my music. Like, just type in Nelly Wap on all platforms, and you know what I'm saying? Like, fuck with your baby. Like, my shit is actually hard. Like, for real. Yes, so nice. I'm so glad that you told people where they could find you yes. and check you out. So, yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is Nelly Wap. Let me ask you one more question before we get off. Who's your favorite baddie? Taseki. She um, came to, I was in Denver, and like when she <laughs> came to Denver, I went to Temple and I seen her, and I was like, yeah, like, I. <laughs> And like, I think she the one who gave me the ticket and shit. And like, when I was working, I mean, when I was working, when I was watching the uh this the first episode, when I heard her say, "Oh shit, that's who I want to see right there," I was like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> "That's mad funny." Yeah. Her energy is just like it's. Right. I feel like it's so me, like just like so mild, but just like so like bitch what. I can, right, yeah, I can yeah, see yeah. that. I can see how Tasek is your favorite. Yeah. You're like, you're not trying to turn up, but when you turn up, you're going to turn up. Right. You're going to stand Heard 10 you. toes. Heard right, you. Right, right. <laughs> well, thank you. I appreciate you for coming on to the show. And with that being said, we are signing off, but we have to do our little outros first. So where can they find you, Jesse? You guys can find me at on Instagram. That's J-E-S-S-I dot strange. And where can they find you, Tiana? You guys can find me on Instagram at randomania1. You can find us on Instagram at the Petty Headquarters. And if you want to check out our visual episodes, we release episodes every Tuesday at 4 p.m. YouTube, Petty Headquarters, you know the deal. So yes, thank you guys. <laughs> Everybody who tuned in, thank you, Nelly Wap, for tuning in as well. And with that, this was your weekly dose of mess. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs>